Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Income Fund Funda, Simplifying Debt Markets, hosted by yours truly Sunil Javeri and brought to you by Axis Mutual Fund. A very interesting question by a viewer, is there any difference between average maturity duration and modified duration? Most of the investors think that all the three convey similar meanings, but let me clarify. What is average maturity? All the securities, debt securities, are issued with a fixed tenor of 1 year, 3 year, 5 years or 10 years. This is the period by which the investors must receive their money back as far as the principal is concerned. And that becomes the maturity of one particular security issued by a borrower. Most of the mutual funds invest in a basket of securities and not in one single issue of paper. The weighted average of all these securities in a basket in the mutual fund space becomes the average maturity as far as the investors are concerned. Then what is duration? Duration tells us the number of years the bond will repay its purchase price. Let me explain to you with an example. Let us assume there is a 10% coupon attached to a 5 year debt instrument, which means the investor will receive 10 rupees every year for the next 5 years which is equal to 50 rupees on this particular bond. Naturally, since there is a coupon attached to it and you are receiving some interest payments on a regular basis, the duration of this will be less than 5 years. A higher coupon bearing security will have a lower duration than a lower coupon bearing security. And the duration of a zero coupon bond with the same analogy will be its equal to its maturity. Let me conclude on duration by giving you an example of a 5-year maturity paper with different coupons. 10% coupon will have a lower duration than a 8% coupon and naturally a 0% coupon bond of a 5-year maturity, the duration of that will be equal to its maturity which is 5 years in this case. What is modified duration? Modified duration measures the sensitivity of the price of bonds to a 1% change in, in interest rates. Let me explain that with an example. If a modified duration is 5 and if, if we expect change in interest rates of 2%, either upward or downward, the change in the price of the bond will be 5 into 2 which is equal to 10%. If the interest rates are likely to go up, naturally there will be a negative implication if the interest rates are likely to go down there will be a positive implication of 10 percent on the price of the bond i hope investors have understood the difference between average maturity duration and modified duration thank you mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully